hello viewers welcome to this video in this video we will be looking at the november 2020 science paper 2 question c2 question c2 reads calcium oxide is an important compound that is manufactured from limestone calcium oxide is an important compound that is manufactured from limestone a1 step the method by which calcium oxide is made from limestone. A. State the method by which a calcium oxide is made from limestone. All right. So when we look at how calcium oxide is made from limestone, we basically have uh, this rock that is strongly heated okay so calcium carbonate is actually a grayish colored rock that is heated strongly heated and when it is strongly heated it changes from its grayish color to a whitey substance a whitey solid okay now because we strongly heat any chemical reaction that actually results from the breaking down of a larger compound by heating the process is called thermal decomposition thermal decomposition so we have uh, c2 as our question so a1 a1 is thermal decomposition thermal decomposition all right we go to a2 a2 write a balanced chemical equation for the formation of calcium oxide from limestone including state symbols write a balanced chemical equation for the formation of calcium oxide from limestone include state symbols so we need to include state symbols so uh limestone limestone is calcium carbonate that we know so the formula for calcium carbonate is ca co3 and this is a rock meaning that it's solid okay now when you strongly heat this it changes so we write our uh, arrow there showing that uh, the next step is the formation of uh, uh, are the products and calcium oxide is one of the products so calcium oxide uh, lime, uh, lime again is it in solid state because it's a white powder okay then so calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is a gas so there so we have calcium carbonate decomposing to calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide calcium carbonate is solid calcium oxide is solid and carbon dioxide is a, a gas so we proceed to the next question which is b so b b is saying what is the common name for calcium oxide what is the common name for calcium oxide all right what is the common name for calcium oxide so before i just rush into answering that question i need you to understand and know the following names for some of these uh, compounds so we first have uh, calcium carbonate okay calcium carbonate So calcium carbonate is known as limestone. Okay, this is limestone. This is the common name for calcium carbonate. Then calcium carbonate changes to calcium oxide. So calcium oxide is commonly known as quick lime. Okay. Calcium oxide is known as quicklime. Then we've got 
another compound, a calcium compound, called calcium hydroxide. So calcium hydroxide is known as select, select lime. So we've got all these limes, limes, limes. However, our question restricts us to just looking at uh, uh, the common name for calcium oxide. So the common name for calcium oxide, which is this part, is quick lime. So the answer there is quick lime. So we can uh, remove all this and just write quick lime hop. Uh, these other information presented may one day be helpful. Okay. Hoping that uh, they may one day be helpful. All right. So our answer for B is a uh, quick line. So it's quick line. All right. We now go to C. C, during production of calcium oxide from limestone, a gas is evolved as a byproduct. One, describe the chemical test for the gas. So, describe the chemical test for the gas. So, we go back to our equation. So, our equation is calcium carbonate decomposing to calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide gas. So the, the only gas there is carbon dioxide. So they want us, okay, they want us to actually describe a chemical test for the gas. So we are describing the chemical test for carbon dioxide. Now what is the chemical test for carbon dioxide? We know that carbon dioxide turns lime water milky. So by us just stating uh, the gas turns lime water milky is not uh, we are not really describing the chemical test so in describing we need to know what we should do with the gas then if the gas is really carbon dioxide what would be the positive test for the for the gas so uh, this is C1 okay C1 so C one so c1 we are going to say bubble the gas through lime water bubble the gas bubble the gas through lime water okay so that is the first part. We bubble the gas through lime water. Then, then, okay, then if the gas is carbon dioxide, uh -huh, then if the gas is carbon dioxide, it will turn lime water to turn lime water milky. Okay, so that is the description. So bubble the gas through lime water. If the gas through lime water, if the gas, if the gas is carbon dioxide it will turn lime water milky all right so so that is uh, the test description okay we go to uh, c2 by what method is the gas collected when prepared in the laboratory give a reason for your answer by what method is the gas collected when prepared in the laboratory, give a reason for your answer. So, uh, in a laboratory, so it's C2, in a laboratory, carbon dioxide is 
uh, is collected by downward downward delivery downward delivery the reason for this okay the reason why it is collected by downward delivery is that it is so because it is denser than air so and for a simple for a simple illustration of how carbon dioxide is extracted in a labor is collected in a laboratory what happens is that you have your collecting jar there okay you have your collecting jar like that then whatever reaction is producing it you get uh, a, a tube and actually put it inside the jar so the gas will be coming in that direction and it will be dropping in the jar so the jar will be left open because none of the carbon dioxide can actually escape it will only escape after the jar is filled that's when it will start pouring down so the carbon dioxide falls to the bottom and starts rising as it increases okay it does not go up because it is not it is it is uh, it does not go up because it is denser than air so it drops to the bottom while air is on top of it so this is a downward de delivery of a gas downward delivery of uh, a gas all right uh, let's now proceed to c3 c3 is saying state two uses of the gas state two uses of the gas so two uses of the gas okay uh, two uses of a gas so what are the uses of uh, the gas okay so what are the uses of uh, the gas So C3, one of the uses is that it is used in fire extinguishers. It is used in fire extinguishers. It is used in fire extinguishers too. It is used in carbonated drinks. It is used in carbonated drinks or fizzy drinks. So carbonated. It is used in carbonated drinks. Okay. Uh, it is also used, other uses of carbon dioxide is that Carbon dioxide is used in life rafts, it is used in life jackets, uh, it is also used in greenhouse gas, in greenhouses to promote the growth of plants, it is also used in rubber forming or plastic forming. There are so many uses of carbon dioxide, however, these two are the most common uses of uh, carbon dioxide. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, if you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so that you are always notified whenever we post a new video. Thank you very much. See you next time.